Travel bans, lockdowns, citywide shutdowns. During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, the hospitality and tourism industry was one of the worst impacted, and the Asia-Pacific region took one of the biggest hits in 2020, according to a report by the World Travel and Tourism Council. Pre-pandemic, the industry was thriving here as one of the region's fastest growing sectors. Asia and the Pacific accounted for a quarter of arrivals worldwide in 2018, according to a report by the World Tourism Organization and the Global Tourism Economy Research Center. But this region was also the first to feel the impact of COVID-19 on the industry. The World Tourism Organization reports international travel here fell 72% in the first six months of 2020. And so the holiday season is upon us, but some experts say a complete revival in the industry here in Asia could be years away. And so a rise in domestic tourism has helped businesses carve a new market, opening new hotels in the region to meet this demand. On this episode, we meet some of the players working to reshape hospitality in Asia, growing their businesses locally and rebuilding toward the future. I'm Christy Lou Stout, and this is Marketplace Asia. It makes up more than one-fifth of the world's population, home to almost 1.4 billion people. China. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, China's international tourism market was amongst the largest in the world, making up more than half of tourism expenditure here in the Asia-Pacific region. But today, traveling in and out of China is widely discouraged. Entry requirements, prompted by COVID-19, are amongst the strictest in the world. And with no indication of opening in the near future, the hospitality industry has turned to a new opportunity, the rise of domestic tourism. China's Ministry of Culture and Tourism reported almost 1.9 billion domestic trips in the first half of 2021, double the same period last year. One company betting big on this market is the Radisson Group. The American hotel brand first expanded into China in 1994, opening doors to its first hotel here in the capital, Beijing. Today, the company has 155 hotels across the country, with 36 of those opening during the pandemic. Earlier this year, I spoke to Katrina Januka, the company's Asia-Pacific president. She said the company's Chinese expansion is well underway and a drive to domestic travel is leading the way. So how is the Ryerson Group meeting these new travel demands? From a brand perspective, we've also had to localize. Most Chinese now are staying at home and traveling at home. So domestic travel is the way to go. That's really the segments that are strong and a strong propensity for people to experience travel once again. This pursuit of domestic travel has brought the company to previously untapped markets within China. In 2021, Radisson unveiled new properties in Tianjin, Changyuan, and Wuxi. These cities are amongst the country's growing cosmopolitan hubs, but are lesser explored on an international scale. Emerging cities in China, as we all know, are very significant powerhouses. We saw that the bigger cities, Shanghai, Beijing, were really hard hit, uh, whereas travel in second tier cities was stronger. And they're not the only ones tapping into this market. Holiday Inn Express reported that the greater China area accounts for more than half of the brand's total global growth. W Hotel opened new locations in Chengdu, Changsha, and Xiamen, all during the COVID-19 pandemic. But China has made headlines for its dynamic zero COVID policy, a strict system that has directly impacted local tourism too. Regional lockdowns involving the shutdown of a city or region with a spike in cases continue in the face of new virus waves across the nation. Experts say this has hit domestic tourism as well. China's strict border policy has been a two-edged sword for the domestic travel industry. We've seen some parts of the Chinese travel industry doing especially well. However, the past couple of months, we've started to see small outbreaks again of COVID-19 in different places in China. Um, and that leads to sort of micro lockdowns of particular districts. Travel has come down by about 30% if we look at air passengers. And that's because of the micro recurrences of COVID-19. Uncertainties around new variants have also resulted in increased travel restrictions by many countries worldwide. For the Radisson Group, 
India, New Zealand, Australia, and Southeast Asia are also key markets and part of a five-year growth plan to increase its hotel presence from 360 to 2,000. The region itself has a higher growth in travelers than any other region. The APAC remains the region with the most border closures. So uh, we're not out of the woods yet, but we do see some reasons for cautious optimism. Bangkok-based Bensley Studio is one business preparing for a revival of Southeast Asian travel. Good morning, CNN. The extravagant luxury hotel designer is behind more than 200 international hotels in the region. Fashion. This year, he announced an ambitious project in partnership with the Intercontinental Hotel Group. The project recycles abandoned train carriages from across the country and converts them to luxury suites. It is really wacky, quirky, and strange, but it's one of the most fun projects we've ever done. And it, do you know what? It's totally sustainable. Instead of building something new out of concrete, we're actually recycling these whole and entire hotels. With new hotel openings on the horizon, he says a rising demand for local tourism will have a lasting effect. 100% of our work is being catered to and expecting only domestic travel, as opposed to the international travel. If we think that just around the corner, all of this tourism from all over the world is going to rush back into Southeast Asia, I think that's a silly thing. And we have to think about traveling in a different way. Coming up after the break, it's not just international players that are seeking opportunities within Asia. One Hong Kong-based company is working hard to expand in Asia, and the pandemic, it says, has not slowed them down.